Hi, my name is Carmen Ryan. I specialize in mobility training. I help clients gain more range of movement in their joints and less pain in their day-to-day -day life. Today, we will be working through an abbreviated morning routine, just focusing on the major joints of our body. So we will begin with our neck, our cervical spine, and work our way down to our toes. Again, this is an abbreviated version, so we'll only be doing one rep per side. And if you do have more time, I would um, really love it if you could do three to five reps per side. So we will begin um, just a few kind of housekeeping rules. So you want to make sure as you're making the movement, if you at any point you feel a little pinch. So if when we're coming into our neck cars, our neck controlled articular rotation, you feel a slight pinch as you're going through here. You don't want to actually push into that joint, but rather move away from that pain. Each time trying to make a big circle around with your neck, but as you come towards that pain point, you want to ease away from that just a little bit to the point where you don't feel the pain, but continue the movement. Because we're trying to train our joints to move in the biggest circle that is possible without pain. Okay, so when you're ready, you're going to bring your feet hip distance apart, knees are slightly soft, hands to your side. We're going to begin with the neck and we will end with our toes. So you're gonna give yourself a slight double chin, eyes looking straight ahead, and you're going to slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, flex your chin, ch sorry, flex your neck downwards. You will feel a stretch in the back of your neck. Pause here, and then slowly scrape that chin across the left collarbone. Down, feeling that lateral stretch on the right side. And then when you get to your left shoulder, if you can't go anymore, you slowly start pulling up and dropping, pulling that left ear to the back of that left shoulder without anything else moving. Looking up slightly towards the ceiling, you're gonna come into an extension of your neck, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, try not to push your hips forward, and then rotate your ear, your right ear to the right side, and slowly, laterally flex downwards. Chin coming to the right side of the collarbone until you slowly come to the midline. From there, you're going to scrape that chin across the right collarbone, making the biggest circle you have possible. And when you can't go anymore, you're going to slowly pull up just a little bit and bring that right ear to the back of that right shoulder. Opening up into extension of your cervical spine. And then laterally rotate to the left side. And then pulling downwards. And then vertebrae by vertebrae, stacking your neck. Back into neutral. The next movement we're going to work on is our scapula. I'm going to turn away from you so you can see what we're doing. Your hands are going to be about shoulder height. Thumb is facing up, pinky is facing down. You're going to squeeze your scapula in towards each other like there's a walnut right between your scapula and you're just trying to hold it. And then you're going to lift that up into elevation. Protract like you're about to hug somebody in front of you, rounding your scapula. And then you're going to slowly pull the scapula down versus dropping it down. So nice and slow control, pulling it down. And this time we're going to reverse direction. Rounding, protracting, reaching for that person in front of you. Elevate. Make sure that chin hasn't tucked out and you're sticking your chin out. Retract and then pull down. So this one's a little bit tricky. And what I was talking about with the chin is that sometimes when we're rounding, we tend to do this and jerk our chin forward. So I want to keep that neutral chin, a slight tuck in that chin, so as you round, you don't stick your chin out. It's because we're only focusing on that scapula. This is just one of those movements, because we're on our computer a lot, we tend to do this a lot and stick our chin out. So this is just trying to get our cervical spine and our scapula back to where it needs to be. 
The next movement we're going to come down to is our cat cow. So we're going to come down to all four. Your knees are hip distance apart, your toes are tucked. If you can, see if you can get all the toes resting on your mat or the floor. Your hands are parallel, eyes looking slightly forward. So you're dragging your heels behind you, you should feel a stretch in the arch of your foot. You're going to tuck your pelvis under, vertebrae by vertebrae. So imagine like your belt, you have a belt buckle, and you're tucking that belt buckle in towards your belly button. So you're driving your pelvis up, vertebrae by vertebrae, we're going to trace that flexion all the way up to the top of our neck. So tucking that under, we're going up into a low back. So you're trying to flex each vertebrae. Imagine there's spikes on your spine, you're trying to spike the ceiling. There's no bend in the elbows, eyes are looking slightly ahead. And when you get to your upper back, you're pushing away, rounding. Con continue that movement. Try to drive your knees now towards the front, the back of your palms. And that's going to create more tension in your abdominal. Keep rounding, rounding. When you can't anymore, your head slowly comes down into max flexion of your spine. And then from here, eyes still looking slightly down, chin is tucked. You're going to drive your heels away from you. Untuck your pelvis. Keep that tension in your upper body. Your pelvis untucked. Low back starts to extend. You're tracing each vertebrae at a time, creating more space between each vertebra. And as you come through to your mid back, Keep extending, drive the heels behind you. And then as you come through to about your scapula, trying to squeeze the scapula down and under, bring your heart center through your arms. Your eyes start to lift up. Think about what is happening to your cervical spine. Slowly lifting up, push actively into your fingertips so that you're not sinking into your shoulder pulling through. Your eyes are either facing forward, if that is where you can go, but if you have more space to go in your cervical spine, your eyes look through your eyebrows, keep actively pushing into your fingertips, and eyes look up. Drive your hands away from you, fingertips away from you, heels away from you, get more length in your extension, and then slowly walk your hands back towards you, and then we're going to come up for our hip. So for our hip, you want to use the wall. Your inside foot will be lifting, okay? So what we're going to be doing, I'm gonna show you for, um, for demonstration the outside foot. So you're going to lift your hand up, you're going to lift your foot up, drive your heel up towards the ceiling, you're going to drive the leg across your body, toes are flexed up, you're trying to pull up, we're working on that hip. So as you pull up, there's almost like a string on your knee and on your ankle, pulling them up evenly as much as you can. And then you pivot that ankle, so you're driving up a little bit higher into hip flexion. Nothing else moves. You're driving actively into the other foot. You're going to open that leg up. Hips are both still facing forward. And then when you can't go anymore, you're going to start winding in. So internal rotation, that hip, that knee drops, ankle drives up, coming back towards the other leg, pull down, and reverse direction, kicking that leg up, squeezing, external rotation, pivoting that leg out, driving up towards the armpit, across the body, and down. Let me show you on the other side, facing you. So what I'm looking for is as you lift that leg, you're bringing that leg across, pulling that leg up, right? So you should feel a stretch on your inner thighs. It's almost like there's a string on the knee and the ankle pulling you up. See if you can pull up a little bit higher. And then coming into hip flexion, see if you can drive that knee up a little bit more. Open that leg, 
as much as you can. And then you're going to go into internal rotation. Think about what's happening with your hip and the femur. What the movement, we're trying to carve out bigger movement in your hip socket. Pulling back, really use your glutes versus your low back to push you into extension. Coming back. And then as we come back into extension, I'm gonna show you here, you're kicking that leg back, opening away, up, across, and down. So this is a very good movement to do during the day, especially if you're sitting a lot. So you can come up, do a few hip cars, and warm up those hips. Now, the next thing we're going to do is our toes. So you can either do the toes from standing, Slight bend in the toes, okay? You can do both if you like. So we're gonna be hip distance apart, eyes looking forward. You're going to lift your big toes up towards the ceiling. And then slowly bring the big toe down. Lift the little toes up without collapsing the arches of your foot. Slowly rest that down, bring all the toes up. Now try to bring the big toe down. That can be challenging, try not to wobble back. And then lift the big toe up. Try to bring all the little toes down. Bring all the toes up and rest. Shake out the knees and you are all set for today. Thank you very much.